I want you to imagine a simple scene down your local boozer. Now, Ferrari, Lamborghini, Maserati, Porsche, all that lot, they're the blokes round the bar with the big opinion, giving it lots of that. Aston Martin is the quiet bloke in the corner, with his pint of best and the crossword. And then, suddenly, he decides he's had enough. So he gets up, he takes them all outside, and he gives them a bloody good hiding. That's exactly what the Vantage did. At its launch in 1977, it was the world's fastest production car, beating the Ferrari Daytona to 60 miles per hour. Only by a tenth of a second, but in a bar brawl down at the Rack and Pinion, that was enough. Aston was back in business and showing how the future of the British supercar would be. Big, front engine, rear wheel drive, weighty, well built, not to be messed with. And it was this approach that would set them apart from the rest of Europe. The Italians, you see, would concentrate on making a really, really fast car, but then they'd start to worry about all the practical stuff, like where's the driver going to sit and can he see out? And how are you going to join up all those wires that make the lights work? The British way, however, is to start with a normal car and then make it very fast. Think of the Jaguar XJR. It's one of the world's most comfortable saloon cars, and it just happens to go like a stabbed rat. So, this Aston's actually perfectly comfortable. I can get in and out OK, I can see where I'm going, I can see behind me. It's even got quite a decent boot. I mean, it'll still pull my face off if I wanted to, but most of the time it just sort of soothes my fevered brow. And then there's the engine. There's no high-rev melodrama here, just a big, lazy, 5.3-litre V8. Say you wanted a bang in a nail, you could belt it really hard with a little hammer, or you could give it a tap with a really big one. The Aston's engine is a sledgehammer. Right, let's meet some more people who might appreciate it. Here we are at the Campaign for Real Ales Festival in Chapel. These chaps can tell you the specific gravity of 300 ales, all in the time it takes me to sink a swift pint. This is where the honesty and goodness of real beer is preserved and honoured. This is serious business drinking this stuff. What is a proper pint? High quality malted barley. A decent beer is really, you've got the brewer's heart and soul in it, you know. Traditional um, ingredients. It's not it's rocket, simple, but it is also complicated as well. And a careful 